okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel just a gentle reminder kindly asking you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel and a big shout out to all who have already subscribed now many of you would have heard the news by now that one Lawrence Vigoro is interested or you know wants in and is interested in in playing for the reggae boys and Vigoro is also eligible to play for Chile and England as well right um made some youth appearances for Chile as well so Lawrence plays for Leighton Orient in the English fourth division and of course many of you would know that Leighton Orient is coached by former reggae boy Joby Makanoff. Now I am happy that more and more players are coming on board and especially the goalkeeping department. The goalkeeping department is probably probably our, our weakest department. Weakest in terms of not not the starter but um the depth. You know, those after the starter, because obviously Andre Blake is very good. But the, you know, the guys that fall, you know, under are in the pecking order after, after Blake. You know, we, we isn't, is not that they are bad options, but we would like to see. The fact of the matter is there's no one right now that's currently challenging Blake for his starting position, right? So it is the the weakest um position in our team. And if you notice, you know, if you look at every other position on our pitch, rather on our team, if you look at every other position on our team, you would notice that every position has at least a, a very good backup. At the very least, a very good backup. Right? The fact of the matter is we have one of the, if not the deepest squad in CONCACAF. Certainly in the running, you know, to have the, the deepest squad in CONCACAF. And I'm, I, I wouldn't say we have the best starting eleven in CONCACAF, but we are definitely in the running to have one of the, the deepest squads or to have the deepest squads. We are definitely right up there at the top of the list for deepest squads in CONCACAF. But that the one position that we do need some reinforcements is the goalkeeping position. Now, with that being said, as I said, Vigoro plays for Leighton Orient in the English fourth division. Is he a good goalkeeper? I think that is the question that many would be asking. Will he be, will he be a goalkeeper that can keep Andre Blake on his toes? And, and, and challenge Andre Blake's starting position? In my humble opinion, the answer to that is no. Right? I mean, he's not a bad goalkeeper, but he is not a goalkeeper in my estimation that would be challenging Blake. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, Knight is still our second choice keeper. If you ask me, right? That's just my opinion that Knight is still our, our second choice keeper. I don't even think right now Vigoro is our second choice. Right? Third choice. Okay. Some may even argue that even Dwayne Miller is ahead of him right now in the pecking order. You know? So, it, my thing is that we need a, we need a, my, my thing is that Vigoro is good from a, from a depth perspective, right? Good third choice or good, yeah, he, he would be a good third choice keeper. But we, we need that guy, man, that can, that can really, you know, if God, God forbid anything were to happen to Andre Blake, we need that guy who can step up. Right, and in my humble opinion, Vigoro isn't that guy. I mean, he's a he's a decent passer out from the back. 
By the way, registered a, a very impressive assist against Carlisle, right? Very good, very good play, right? One pass to the, to the forward and the ball was in the back of the net. So he's a, he's a decent passer, you know, decent at shot stopping. Not the quickest off his line. He could improve his parrying. Decent positioning. One area that he definitely needs to work on is commanding his area. He definitely needs to take charge more. You know, command his area better. That, that seems to be a weakness of this particular goalkeeper. He doesn't command his area very well. I also am a, a little bit weary of our ability to play a high line with this particular goalkeeper. I mean, he's not the slowest off of his line, but he is also, in my opinion, not the quickest off his line. He's also decent with the ball at his feet as well. And as I say, a decent passer, especially with, um, with like, you know, those volley kickouts. You know, when they catch the ball and they, you know, they volley it upfield. He's very good. Um, we're passing the ball out from the back. Um, with those sort of kickouts are concerned. Not, I mean, decent passer with uh, with the ball on the ground in terms of those kickouts, where it's a a, a goalkeeper kickout or a goal kick. He is he is decent with with passing out from the back where that is concerned. But those drop ball kickouts. Seems to be his thing. One of the issues that I also see with Vigoro is that sometimes he can be a bit indecisive. Right? Indecision seems to be a bit of an issue for him as well. But as a seaman, commanding his area seems to be a problem for him. So overall, I, 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 we, we welcome him into the, into the squad. Right, a, a decent addition. Not one of the more high profile additions that has been happening very recently. But still a, a, a kind of important one nonetheless. But my thing is, man, I, I would feel a lot more comfortable. Right, with a, with a, with a better goalkeeping addition. You know, I know we have people that are surveying the ground over in England. Trying to see... You know, if we, you know, just basically all the, the players that are available to us. I, I really hope and pray that they, they find us a, a better goalkeeper. Right? A goalkeeper who can really keep Blake on his toes. You know, one that is, is eligible to play for Jamaica. I keep hearing about this, this fellow by the name of, I think his name is Jamal Blackman. But... Um, from my understanding of it, he's not eligible to play for Jamaica. So he, he is not in the mix. But my thing is that, my thing is that, um, again, he's a decent, Vigoro is a decent addition to the team. But we, I, I personally would love to see a better goalkeeper. You know, a, 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 a better goalkeeping addition right um for me right now knight as i said is still the backup is still the, the the second choice keeper in my opinion knight is a decent keeper one thing that i particular particularly in my opinion i think knight needs to improve his passing out from the back i think that can definitely improve but knight definitely has great potential but this this addition of Vigoro for me changes nothing. Right? It 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 changes nothing. I still we still do need a better goalkeeping addition to the team. We still do need someone that can be better able to keep Andre Blake on his toes. Right? As I say, some people some people might not even put Vigoro in the picking order over a Dwayne Miller. 
You know, so my one one other issue that I have with Vigoro is the level that he's playing at. I mean, it's the England fourth division, right? I mean, I, I'm not so comfortable with a with a with a player in the English fourth division being our supposed number two to Blake. You know, if it was even the England third division, I would feel a bit more comfortable. Right, and right now, Leighton Orient are a mid table team in the England fourth division. A couple points off of the, the, the playoff spots, they are not too far off the playoff spots, but right now, they are still a, a, a mid table team. So, as I said, man, I, I would just feel I would, I would feel more comfortable if he was playing in a higher standard league. But it is what it is. We just have to work with what we have. Hopefully Blake can stay fit. Hopefully Blake can be available for us as, as, as often as possible, man. You know, I mean, the goalkeeper, the goalkeepers, I mean, the fixtures will be crunched. But the, in the World Cup qualifiers, but the goalkeeping position is still... You know, the goalkeeping position, the, the, the goalkeeper can play all 14 games for sure. Right, so hopefully Blake stays fit and plays all 14 games for us. Um, J. Dean White as well. J, you know, J. Dean White really impressed me in that US game. Especially under the circumstances, I think White did well. Right, I think, you know, given the circumstances that, you know, he never played... He, he hadn't played competitively. He hadn't stood between the posts competitively in over a year. So I, I, I think that White, White did well. He impressed me against the US. His overall play. Except for that one time when he fumbled um, that, that particular. Um, I think he, he, he came, if memory serves me right, he, he came and made himself big. Blocked the shot. And then um, blocked the shot from Reyna. And then the ball broke. I, I think he could have... He got to it first and he, he, he fumbled it. And it almost resulted in a goal. But my thing with White is... I think White should still be in and around the setup. Gain some valuable experience. But I personally don't think White is ready for even the... I would take him to the Gold Cup, but the, the World Cup qualifiers, I personally don't think White is ready for that just yet. But I, I do think in the future, he'll definitely be a good goalkeeper for us. But right now as it stands, I don't think White is 100% is, is, is ready as yet. So hopefully, hopefully, Blake, I don't know, hopefully we can get a, a good backup to Blake or... Blake can stay fit and, and, and play every single game in the, in the World Cup qualifiers. While I am happy to hear Vigoro has, you know, has given up on his hopes of playing for Chile, I still don't think he is the guy that will keep Blake on his toes. So anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time.